Good evening and thank you for joining us. Stats Canada has released its annual demographic estimates and the numbers show that Thunder Bay had the lowest rate of population growth last year of any city with more than 100,000 people. That's a concern for city officials, especially considering that our population is aging as well. Basilios Bellows reports. The total population in the Thunder Bay Census metropolitan area grew by just 0.2% between July 2021 and July 2022 to sit at just over 125,000 people. That's the lowest growth rate among the 44 larger cities across the country. And as city manager Norm Gale explains, this trend is a cause for concern. Our demographics, our population is aging. And if this is not corrected, and if there's no change to this, the day will come when more people are drawing services than there are people that are providing services. This is a serious strategic issue. The 0.2% bump represents a net increase of around 250 people. The net deaths versus births resulted in a population drop of 427. As for national migration, Thunder Bay saw 721 more people leave the city than move into it. The one contributor to growing the city's population was international migrants, which totaled over 1,400 people. Gale says international students attending LU or Confederation College are important to improving local population trends in the long run. The more of these international students that we can entice to stay here and work here and play here and thrive here, have families here, the more successful our community will be, the more vibrant we will be, and it's better in the long term. Looking at some other municipalities in Canada, Moncton saw the largest population growth across the country at 5.3%. Larger cities like Calgary and Toronto also saw significant increases, 3.1% for the former and 2.1% for the latter. As for some of our neighbours to the east and west, both Winnipeg and Sudbury saw both population gains of 1.5%. With the population somewhere in the 15% more than what we actually have. Mayor Ken Boschkov believes the Stats Canada numbers are not an accurate representation of the local population, as many people here tend to not fill out their census information. Boschkov says this causes financial issues in the city, where services are provided to people not officially in the books. We'll ride with 120,000, but we know, uh, the police know, the hospital knows, the health care systems know, uh, and even the mercantile areas know it's, it's more than that, and there's more people around, and if you spent one hour at City Hall, you would know there's a lot more people wandering around the city uh, than actually meet any census. Vasilios Bellows, TBT News.